Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Hey, today I just made an appointment with my doctor. Why? Because we just made a butter smash burger. If you guys want to see this crazy concoction, here we go. All right, to get started, let's talk about the list of ingredients, how excited I am to make it. I just, it's one of those dishes before you make it that you just know I, the flavor is locked right there. <laughs> All right, ground beef, 80-20 check. Here is a compound butter that's been freezing. It's frozen solid. Let me show you how to make it. One head of garlic, and you want to cut about 25% off the top. Just expose the bulbs. A little oil. Papers on there is fine. Aluminum foil in the oven at 350 for about 45 minutes to an hour. It is so hot outside. The butter is melting from here to inside there. One stick of room temperature butter or halfway melted. To that, we are going to add cream style horseradish. A little goes a long ways. I'm telling you, a little goes a long ways, but it is fantastic. Horseradish and beef just go together. Something's going to get that horseradish out of there. Typically about a teaspoon works for me, so something like that. If I had a guess, maybe about a tablespoon of your favorite W sauce. And the crown jewel of the whole burger. So much depth of flavor. Definitely worth it. Roasted garlic is completely different than raw garlic. If you've never tried it, I highly recommend you try it. That is hot. If done right and cooled down enough. Our garlic bulb wasn't so great to start with. No, but it is extremely hot. And I don't want to squeeze it when it's that dang hot. I could wait a second, but who are we kidding? This is what it's supposed to do. There we go. Whole bulb of garlic is in and we're just going to incorporate these flavors. You really don't have to worry about the garlic. As you smash the butter, the garlic's gonna infuse right into the butter. It's that soft. We are going to let this go back in the refrigerator. We're not even gonna to attempt to roll it up yet. So literally, I'm just gonna put this in the refrigerator until it hardens. Once I cooled it down in the refrigerator, I simply took it out of the bowl, put it in plastic wrap, and put this in the freezer. If I'd have done it, like as soon as I take it out of the bowl, you guys how loose it was. It wouldn't have worked as well, so I put it in the refrigerator to let it cool down. Once it got into a hard shape like this, we froze it. Onions will slice those thin because I love those charred onions on a smash burger. Cheese of choice, I don't care what you pick. Cheddar American, I think American's absolutely perfect, but I like the cheddar. Maybe we'll do one of each, split it up. Sauces, I don't think it's gonna need that much sauce. My wife said mayonnaise. I'm more of a mustard fan, maybe a little like that tang, but I really want this butter to be grated in the beef and to have it shine. So that's the deal. Toasted buns, easy peasy. You guys ready? Yep. Let's go. All right, I have enough ground beef here. I'm just gonna go roughly half, okay? Uh, just, it's like roughly two pounds. Split it right there in the middle. Maybe err on the shot of more for us. Something like that. So that's roughly a pound of ground beef right there. I would caution you to be extremely careful during this time of year because it's hot as can be outside. We're pushing 90 degrees. I know it's 110 degrees where you're at. Hot is hot, right? Butter starts melting. Your beef doesn't stay out as long, all that stuff. Great, the butter. Crumble the butter. <laughs> it's gonna be the same thing. <laughs> what you don't wanna do is overwork the butter and the butter will come warm. So. If it's extremely hot outside, you can take this in the mix. You can mix this whole mix inside. Um, you can even use a spatula, maybe a spoon, just kind of like work the ingredients together. Whatever you do, just keep it cold. It smells so good. It's that garlic and W sauce. I'm telling you, I think that horseradish is going to be key. All right, really quick. Let me make these balls really quick because I don't want this to warm up on us. Why our griddle and onions are getting chopped and the griddles come up to temp, I am actually going to put this right back in the refrigerator because it is, I don't want to start melting on us. Looking at roughly two and a half to three ounce balls. Honestly, if you want to go thicker, you can. If you want to go to a big boy, you can. That butter is going to melt. I would just err on the side of like too thick because, you know, you don't want it like a, a chunk of like cold butter, you know, if that makes sense. 
I'm just going to use the knife and go extremely thin, as thin as we can get it. If you guys feel comfortable, use a mandolin, use a slicer. That right there is pretty thin. All righty, just a little mayonnaise for our buns. I think that acidity from the vinegar and the mayonnaise is going to help out. I've mentioned this before. A lot of people recommend using mayonnaise to toaster buns. I'm actually not a big fan of it, unless it comes to this situation right here. I prefer butter or dry. I think we might get away with this right here. All right, so low, high, high, low. And the reason is, I just want a good landing zone for a few patties. Like right here in the middle where I'm working at, there's no reason to raise your griddle up even higher to waste of propane and all that stuff. And I we'll have a good working area right there. Uh, 500 and 480. Smell it right away. Oh, yeah. Lee, that smells good. Mm -hmm. I'm not necessarily looking for like 100% lacy. I don't want them like super, super, super thin. A little seasoning on top. I'm not going to go too heavy. It's going to be a winner. I can tell already. I can feel it griddling on the air tonight. While our burgers are cooking, I thought I'd just go and dress these because they're going to happen extremely fast. So you just want mayonnaise on yours? Yes. Okay. I don't blame you. I'm only going to put, I, I'm actually, I'm, I believe in your taste buds, kid. But I am going to put mustard on mine. Only because I feel like at least it gives us an idea. One American, one cheddar. I don't know if this is supposed to be a pretty burger or an ungreasy burger. Spoiler alert, I had a little piece of beef that fell off to the side. Now let's just say I was grinning ear to ear. Do you get the roasted garlic? Yeah. You get the Worcestershire? I don't know to mm. say if you actually. <laughs> <laughs> Your face. <laughs> I don't know if you actually get the Worcestershire, but it gives it a depth of flavor. Mm. Golly. Ah. Mm. Be careful now, it's mm. all over the phone. Mm. Look at you. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> that is dang good top five top five for sure top yeah. three yeah top two <laughs> <laughs> maybe best ever <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's that's that is really really so, good this is my conclusion and this is the truth you don't need as much butter as what we put in there you can get away with probably ah! I would then get away with half the amount of butter. Uh, you can use the same amount of garlic, the same amount of Worcestershire sauce, the same amount of... You actually don't even get... You've got to be able to get some of the kick in there. Oh, the you mean... Horseradish. You mean put 
Oh, you think less butter in the beef balls? Mm, I do. I think you could get away with less butter. It's my opinion. <laughs> and I think the flavor would stand out just as good. Or you could use like 8515 beef. But that right there, honestly. Give me another bite. If you guys really and truly follow the channel and want to try this out, I'd love for you guys to hit us up on Instagram after you do or even the Griddle Group. Because that right there is worth making. That's right there worth changing your weekly schedule of how you normally do things and becoming friends with your doctor. <laughs> I want to make that for dad. <laughs> mm. You should see your face. I don't know if I've ever seen you eat a burger like this. I'm not supposed to be eating carbs right now. <laughs> I, I'm sure they got every word of that. I'm going to enjoy it. I think it's fantastic. I'm like her. I think the flavor is there. It's worth the shot. It's worth the changing up. Hell, take the butter at, out, add the garlic and the Worcestershire sauce and the horseradish, and I think you're going to have a better flavoring burger to begin with. You Maybe don't need, cut, I don't think you need the mustard. Well, we haven't tried it out yet. I'm getting off here. Hey, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. I'm eating. Forget this talking crap. This is good. That this is, is super, super this good. This will go on our list of our top five favorites. Yep. I'm going to try one with the mustard.